Hey everybody, welcome back to the workshop. I'm Brian. Today I'm going to share with you a couple of awesome tips using a laser button. Okay, so first, a little background on these couple tips I'm going to share with you. Um, for many years, I worked as a custom metal fabricator. And part of our job, probably the most important part, was getting started with the right measurements. We'd have to go out to the field, whether it's a concrete stair that needed railing, a ramp, a handicap ramp, a, a new stair tower, railings going down a long sidewalk, whatever the case may be. You always had to take measurements and they had to be accurate. Now, laser levels, when they first came along, were the game changer for every construction industry, including metal fabricating. And the only downside to a laser level is when you're checking elevations, as many as you may know, is the math that goes along with, you know, taking height measurements off a benchmark and then transferring them into your final measurements. I'm going to show you how to do that with a couple of quick setups you can keep in your toolbox, or your truck, wherever, that'll eliminate most, if not all, that math. Start with your laser, whatever brand you may have. Mine's a Bosch. You take a measurement of where your beam sits with your level sitting on a flat surface. I don't know why manufacturers of these laser levels uh, <clears throat> do this, but they always make the height of the beam off the, the base here, it's, it's, an odd, it's an odd dimension. Mine happens to be three and three eighths of an inch. I mean, you'd think they could make it like an even number, like four or whatever, and uh, it would make doing math simpler. But uh, I guess that's just not how it works. So anyway, you take your measurement for the height of your beam off of a flat surface, in this case, three and three eighths, quite simply, you cut yourself a wood block that matches those dimensions. Look how simple that is. I actually cut mine into a cube, so no matter which way you rolled it, you always had the three and three eighths. Cut from a piece of scrap Douglas fir, four by four that was laying around, and you trim it so that the beam is right there at your top corner. You can see here how the beam basically splits along the top of the block. You know, you can be finicky about the accuracy, but this definitely works. So that's about as simple as this one gets. You set this on wherever you're gonna measure and you pull your measurement. Let's just say this is our, and right there. That little plastic box is four and a half inches high. How simple is that? No math. Let me show you a perfect example of how to check uh, the height difference using the gauge block and your laser level once you have this cut, obviously. So here's a, we're gonna call this a ramp, uh, a floor, could be your garage floor, your kitchen floor, it's out of level. You wanna see exactly how much over uh, a certain length or, or over the whole length of the room. You know, you establish a high corner and you set your level in your high corner. Um, you can do a quick go around to see which is the high corner before you do that. <clears throat> Once that's done, let me, well, let me show you the difference here. This is what you do if you're using a laser level as a, just as a regular benchmark. You would take this number here, which with my level was three and three eighths. Okay, and then you would swing down here, get this measurement here, and this is about four and five eighths. And you would have to, if you wanted to know how, just the, how low this was in relation to that point, you would have to subtract them. And that would give you the actual difference. Um, to do it without math, you use your gauge block, which is preset, and you put that there. And we know that that's three and three eighths, this is three and three eighths and you set your tape right there and you just read the measurement. 
This is an inch and three sixteenths out of level, which is exactly how thick that block is because my workbench is level. No matter. Okay. So since a simple drawing is worth a thousand words, I made this diagram just to outline exactly how you take measurements in a couple examples. Here we have an example of measuring the height of a concrete stair. It could just as well be a ramp. And above, there's an example of checking to see if a floor is level and just how much out of level it is over the four corners. Okay, so in our first tip, we showed you how to use the gauge block in your laser level to measure height differences without using math. And that's a great, but it doesn't work everywhere. Um, well, what does? So you have to have direct line of sight for the laser beam and a pretty much a clear wide path, no obstacles in the way to block the beam for that method to work. Now this next method is a little more traditional, but again, we're not using math, which is the whole object of uh, these tips. And we're essentially using a poor man's story pole. Okay, and this uh, works best when you're checking. Uh, it's, it's great for out of level floors, inside, outside. Um, it's also good for doing grading outside. Let's say you want to level off a spot, a spot in your yard uh, to put a shed or a deck or sidewalk, whatever it may be. Um, but you want to see the elevation difference, the, the slope and the ground. In case you want to put piers in, uh, you have to cut and fill some grade, whatever. So. Traditionally, that's done uh, by, say, an excavator or a guy that has some pretty fancy equipment like, uh, you know, a rotary laser level, which they're expensive. Uh, not your average do-it-yourself or a uh, guy like me uh, is going to purchase uh, for the few times we have to do that. Uh, so you use this method and you effectively have the same thing. You can check uh, elevations uh, pretty quick and simple, accurate. Uh, without a rotary laser level or a lot of math. So let's explain how this basically works. Is this is a piece of just anything you got laying around. It could be wood, uh, a piece of plastic pipe, as long as you can clamp this to it. And this is the important part of this here tip. <clears throat> you make yourself, it's similar to the gauge block. It's essentially a ruler. Okay, do I have it right side up? Yep. Okay, you make your own little customized ruler. You take a piece of wood, you stretch your tape out, uh, you start with a one line in the middle, we call that your zero, and that is your, that's your re level reference line. And from there you just graduate up in whatever increments accuracy you want. This is just in quarters. You can see we got you know one inch, two inch, and so forth. And there's a quarter, half, three quarters, so and so on. And then this way we count down the opposite direction. You know, if there's one, two, three, four. So when you actually attach this to your story pole, and you, you, you do you, first you set your story pole, I'll show you how to do that, and you put this on it, you can walk around and spot check elevations, and this will tell you how high you are or how low you are off of your level reference line. And you can establish the reference line however you want. It's basically you're checking the height difference from one area to the next, the check for slopes. So. Let's dive into that. Uh, I will show you how to set this up. We're probably gonna move outside uh, to where we have some uneven terrain uh, where you can actually see this thing work better than here. My, my floor is actually level. So let's go outside. Okay, so here we are out in my driveway. <clears throat> I have the laser set up on a tripod. Um, you could easily set it on or whatever, a chair, a stool, if you don't have a tripod, it's really relative to what you got. I happen to have a tripod left over from something. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna check the slope of the driveway. That's the high side going up, and then this is the low side going down. And we're gonna check them, say, relative to this point. It's really where you wanna check in reference to when you're doing elevations. So basically, we set our story pole here, put our makeshift ruler right on here, set it at the zero, hope you can see that, and clamp it. Uh, we're good to go. Now we can check elevations and see what's high and low in 
true re re readout numbers, no math, from this point here or whatever point we set up as a benchmark. So I'm going to walk about, well, we'll start with here going about real close. There's the beam. So where this stick is sitting, the driveway drops about three quarters of an inch. Not much. Let's get on a little further. So here we are at about 45 feet away and I am two and a half inches lower from where the tripod is. No math. Let's go on the upside. So we turn the laser level around to catch the upslope. And I'm going to say it's nice to have a helper for this. I'm all alone here today, so bear with me. We just turn the laser level around and we find our beam. Here's where it's nice to have a helper. Where is my beam? There it is. Okay, so if you can see that, we are about two and one quarter inches high than that spot right there. No rotary laser level, a $99 uh, Home Depot big box store laser level and you can do the same thing. Okay, so that's our tip uh, on using the laser level. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you find it useful. Uh, like I said, for a minimal investment in time, make your little gauge stick or makeshift ruler, your little gauge block, and you can take using the laser level to a new level. As always, uh, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, you know, please subscribe. Uh, if you have any feedback, you know, leave a uh, comment in the comment section below. Appreciate to hear from you, and I will see you next time.